Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. Before I started the episode, I took the farm out. While I was editing, I was noticing that it didn't build where I thought it would. I wanted a nice pathway through here coming right up alongside the fences, and by the time I laid that foundation, it was almost felt like it was clear over here, like the road's going to zigzag around. I knew later that was going to bug me, so I went ahead and... and had them demolish it, and and uh, then I turned the game on. So that's what's up there. Let's turn the speed. Well, let's let's reset all these guys to to start building as well. They're all equally as important. Um, not as important there. We'll leave that one alone. All right, let's turn this on. And that was a long pause. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the space bar thinking I was doing that. And then I got to thinking, oh no, it's crashed on me, but no, it's fine. Anyway, um, three, that's what I want. Okay, now it feels like I did something. So we're working on potentially, where are you? You're over here somewhere, right there. Boatyard, nobody assigned. We've got a fishing dock, nobody assigned. We've got a farm. And that's where everybody wants to work. And that's a much better working with for a road. The other one, it was sitting right about maybe over here. And if you snuck around, it's just an itty bitty little path between them. So they were going to be zigzagging around here. And that's not what I wanted. I want to do it right from the beginning this time, not just deal with it later. You know. Anyway, we've got, uh, yeah, names I still can't pronounce over here working. <laughs> There is the ability to change the names in the game. I thought about that long ago, right at the beginning of the series, clear back at episode two, when I discovered the README file, that uh, you could change the men's and women's names. I was thinking about putting subscribers in there, but with all that I have been uh, doing, getting the RimWorld series going, there's just no time to, to deal with that before getting this new town going. So maybe another time. I'm worried about changing the names in the middle of a town, in the middle of, of, a, of a save file. And then the game going back to to figure out who lives in this house, and that per that name's not there anymore, and conflicting with with uh, you know what's in the save file, and then all of a sudden either everything crashes or we have a house full of citizens that aren't actually counted anymore as people, and so we've got to you know abandon the town. So I don't want to risk doing something like that mid series, but maybe before the next map starts, we'll we'll do something like that. And, you know, a lot of YouTube names, you can't tell if it's male or female. So I don't know who to put in the, the man's names list and who to put in the women's names list. So it could be some rather interesting results. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, well, uh, how far are we, are we here? We're about halfway. I put the, uh, the clay walls in. And what's next? Wooden nails. Awaiting one clay. That should be coming out of here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's something that we could use. Uh, carts that are in uh, better places. So we need to get the carpenter going here real soon. But there's the one clay delivered along with more wood and probably nails. Nope. Two, two loads of wood are coming in. Okay. I guess there's enough nails already to do it. How are the ladies doing here? I put one back in there. And, yeah, they're catching up real quick again. We don't have any food, so there's no point in setting up a market stall yet. Boy, this feels quiet. Well, for me, you guys are hearing the music that I put into the game, but, uh, you know, for me, it's, it's dead silent right now. Even the... Well, I can hear tapping. There's some noise. That's the only noise I've heard so far this episode. And it's done. <laughs> Where was that? That was right over here. That was him. Okay. There's tapping. That's out over here. Now, are we doing the other two? Not much activity out over there. I turned this one on while, while they were tearing this down, hoping they would move the building supplies out there. And they did some, but for the most part, they just sat here for a while until the ladies started to uh, load up the warehouse again. Then I was able to set the foundation. Um, I'm clicked on the wrong thing. There we are. I've got thatch going in. Boom, 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 boom. There's the last two thatch. Yeah, it was two little marks left over there and here comes the thaw Ooh, it's gonna be close almost come on give me two more workers ah okay let's 
What are we doing over here? We have laborers over there. Nobody there. That's... I thought I had left that paused. Hmm. I guess I didn't. Alright, I need... There's a worker. Come on out. And put these two up so I can set some fields. One, two. Gotcha. Alright. Let's take the game back down to one speed and hire a manager. Yeah, we'll go ahead and right off the bat five workers. They'll most likely be the ladies because we'll have all of these. Oh, we'll leave that one paused. Yeah, let's get the fishing going before the, the summer runs out. All right. Did I, how did I, how well did I lay that out? I did it in the snow where you couldn't see the marks. Actually, it looks pretty good. Okay. So, six farms, six fields. Oh, it's already selected. I can click that over and over again. It wasn't doing anything. So the thought here is that I can put three fields out here in a line with a road can, going right through it. And then the other ones can stagger out and around and do whatever we want. So let's do these three. Feels like the easiest one to line up. So if I were to do... Well, kind of want to follow that right there. Let's see, you guys are actually on the line. You're just over in the beginning of the light area of the of the the pattern okay that means i need to set you right about there and shoot across to somewhere around there okay nope not quite but that gave me a starting point uh there we are so right about there if i do this i should be able to get a sense of how square it is so let's put you more like right there ah that's good and we come off this way until we hit 15. All right, I like that. So you're going to go there. We're going to put another one. The order's going to be wrong, but that's fine. We'll pop another one there. And it does tend to snap right there. Good. So we're five fence posts wide, or five gaps wide. Let's put it that way, six fence posts. So somewhere in there. And that's parallel. It gives us 14. So let's go a little bit wider. So out to about like that, and it's still snapped, good. So there, and out here, and there's 15, good. Wish I could just, you know, cookie cutter, just uh, copy paste, but it doesn't let me do that. This corner, snap out this way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that should be pretty close to it right there, 15, okay. Oh, without even thinking about it, I got the doors in the right place. Oh, that's good. <laughs> hate when that happens um all right so one more of you and i want to leave one and a half fence posts in so something right there we're going to go narrow like that that's actually a pretty good line right there so can i get anything here not quite so we're gonna have to go wider we're not gonna be able to line up well here that'll be fine it's not that critical so I'll bring you out to something like that. That looks fairly good right there. Yeah. Okay. Can I hit 15 now? I can. Is there a problem with him not being able to walk around that other side? There could be. There could be. Let's bring this out just a little bit longer. Right about there. And we're still looking fairly straight. That means 15 should hit a little bit earlier, about like that. Yeah, let's do that. That gives us kind of a walking path along the along the beach there. Okay, so you're going to go there, and let's do another one off over here. One and a half by something like that, and you're going to stick out beyond two. So we did basically the five over there, so we'll do that here. Bring you out. You look fairly even down there. And 15 this way isn't near as far as that one. Interesting. So we need to go a little bit wider. That looks pretty good. So 15 here looks something like that. And then, what does this look like? Where's our... Sitting right about there. We'll start right there. There there right I can't go further up again no nope. as far up as I can get to look down on it something like that you are doing what you're actually 
flowing pretty straight. Okay. So you're really wide. So 15 hits way over here. Yep, I like that. We'll do that. So there's six fields. And we're just into March. So we should be able to get this thing going. And that's going to be a good first farm. I like that. It's nice and close to all the houses, too. We've never had one this compact before. So that's going to look really good. In fact, we could even do cattle like right here. And just get everything nice and tight in here before we start to expand out. And then we'll do a bank of houses or something out in here to work on whatever is going to go in next. And we've got all of this area yet to go. I mean, look at that. That's huge. Got lots. Of, I haven't seen the red line yet. Did I miss it? Wow. That is a lot of space. This is a great map. Okay. So, where next? Next is putting these guys in an order that makes sense. Would it have made... Well, okay, they can enter... Would it have made sense to put a pathway through here? These guys working, you're going to have to go all the way around to get into work. There's that to think of. Should we move these two down and put a pathway right there? You know, I really kind of like that. That's the kind of thinking I want to do here early in the game. To get it right to begin with, rather than just putting up with it later. Let's do that. I like that. You're going to go... That pathway would naturally come off right about like so. And... I was going to say we could put a, the entrance right here, but they're always going to check in to the farm first before they go in. So yeah, right here is the best. But I can start it right here. So how best to do that? If I were to snag that corner and let it snap and bring that back to... That looks pretty good right there. Right click, left click. All right, we got that now. So let's do something like that just so I can zoom in and move around and you are off a little bit so we need to be and how are we doing this way that looks good okay so we just need to move let's see if I can do all of this camera work without accidentally clicking the fence post right click left click all right pull you back now you're a little too far that looks pretty good okay What's 15 this way look like? Ooh, that's what I was hoping. It was going to line up with that other fence line over there. Now, R turns the fence line, the opening. And there it is. Click. Perfect. And grab that corner. Pop out like so. Pull down. Cannot. I guess it didn't... Uh, oh, we're so close. So close. In fact, I never accidentally ran into that because we were always staggered. Oh, the entrances never were across from each other. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's grab this one instead. Swing out till we snap right about there. Maybe we can stop just shy if it doesn't automatically uh, snap. There's a 16, so let's come back just a touch. Okay. R a couple of times. We pull back till just before that cone hits. Right there. Alright, that's how that's going to lay out. Alright, now we've got six farms. Six fields. Okay. I like to do this one as one and go clockwise. But I have no idea where that one is. One right now is over there. You're actually number six. So that, that helps. You move on down. Well, you're now four because it won't auto scroll so four now go down down to six okay where is this one two you're over there you're actually number three so move you to there and where is two now there's two we know three is correct where's four four is five okay so four becomes five does that line us up this four is now right there okay one two three four five six everything's in place so, the first farm, we want to set up with all the crops, I think. Eventually, we're going to specialize. But does it do us any good? Let's think about this. Actually, it kind of does. It gets us the beginnings of all the industries. So, let's do that. So, farm one, we've got our manager. Good. 
and the ladies are starting to file in here. So let's open up fours on the first four fields. And the pattern that works best is basically skipping sunflower, just go down in order. Wheat, potato, hemp, fallow. If you add up all the numbers, subtract them from the 100 that you start with, um, can't see it from here, right there, 100%, and start subtracting that one, that one, and that one, you come out to just a little bit, uh, you know, you've almost used up your 100%, subtract all the greens, subtract all the blues from 100, and it, it works out just right. When you add in the, the, the plow, that puts 15% back in each round. So there's 45% that have been put back in over three runs, which means you could go back to one or two of these and get one more run, probably another wheat and another potato if you wanted to, because it will have added, well, not take that back. Looks like you could probably sneak in maybe another wheat or another potato and still have it all covered and it should work fine. Or maybe even after that, there have been enough rounds of extra blue put in to get one more of these guys in. So, yeah, just kind of play with the math. Also, remembering that it doesn't actually grow 100%. It usually stops at about 60 to 70%. So, you're only using 60 to 70% of these numbers at a time. So, that almost means you can go six or seven rounds before you actually need a fallow. So, if you really fine tune it, and you don't have bad years where everything just messes up and your numbers all go askew. And you can get quite a bit out of this before needing to fallow. So we're going to, I don't know what I just did, wheat, and then potato, and then hemp, and then fallow. Then we're going to do potato, and then hemp, and then just to maintain the pattern for now, fallow, and then wheat. And then one more round starting at hemp, and then fallow, and then wheat, and then potato. So that gives us a fallow field every year and it also gives us one of everything every year. One isn't really enough to do us much good but it'll get us started. And this one would then just to maintain the pattern go to fallow right off the bat. Feels like a waste but and once the plow comes in it actually would be a waste. Let's double up on potato. I think we're gonna be fine there. Let's potato you and then we will wheat and then we will potato. Hmm. That does mess things. Okay, potato and then hemp. And then wheat. And then potato. We'll skip the fallow on this one. We don't need it for the cattle right now. And I might not use fallow fields for the cattle this time. I might give them each cow shed their own individual field so that we can see them all split up and go their way and not wonder which cow got left behind like we did last time. Then we've got a couple of doubles, and we will sunflower in there, and we will sunflower in there, and that'll take care of that. So with that, um, let's activate everything, because our numbers are set and everything seems happy, and let them go for it. Um, set you down to no more than five workers five laborers don't even need that many the five should do the job just fine assuming that they actually get out here and get to work so we'll leave a little cushion just in case and once this is all done then everybody else will be busy working on other jobs now i guess that is all there is to do at the moment next thing to do is fishing but let's watch this get started field number one's over here and We've skipped the plowing and we're going to start seeing a blue sewing bar start to move across here. Showing that they're getting the work done for the for the wheat. And some are already on their way to work on this one. Yep, that's going to work good. Alright, how are we doing out here on these guys? Over there, we're starting to lay down the piers. And getting ready to... to uh, it's interesting how they use piers over here. The idea that if we get a flood, there isn't actually a foundation, but it's up off the ground. So, kind of a the way you would build a building along a shoreline. So, do we do the same thing with the the boatyard? The, 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 I'm sorry, the fishing dock? I think it did. Rather than something like this, which is built right into the ground, and if it floods, it goes inside. So, I like the little attention to details. That's the way that it should be done when you're up against the water. So, we'll watch this for a little bit. That was one of the two labors. Another one should be rolling in. Here we go with his carts 
And out of curiosity, let's follow you for a while. Give us something to do. Uh, there we go. If I zoom out a bit. And we'll set you to two speed. So you're going to drop off your cart. And then what you going to do? And they're already working in field five out of six. Oh, great. We're still barely past halfway of March. We're going to get a, about as much growth out of here as we can get. Good, good, good. He's dropping off his cart, which is a long way to go. He goes home, thinks about it, decides whether they need firewood or anything else. There's really nothing else to get, just firewood right now. So I don't see any... Yeah, there is smoke coming out of there, so you're fine. So basically, you're waiting for another job to open up, which is probably because we have to... The workers have to put these materials in before anything else will be called for. So once they get to a certain point, then the game calls for the next round of materials. And then that other person would go and get go to work. So in that case, hmm, just wishing that they would then go and and you know drop off materials here while they're waiting for that one to open up again. We know we've got plenty of people available uh, right there. It doesn't actually show anyone looking for work, which may be you know, I guess one way to look at this instead of going home at five in the evening and then sleeping and doing all this stuff at home and you know playing video games and you know stuff like that and then nine the next morning go off to work so really if you think about it a normal eight hour work day you know over the course of a month you probably only work oh i don't know 30 percent of your month the rest of it is spent sleeping and and your your own activities so if you simulated that here these guys will only work for a week and a half a month which kind of feels like that's what they do <laughs> especially when you're impatient and you want to get something done we done here no or fallow we're done okay don't need these ladies here anymore i don't even need to leave one right now think about it I don't. We're down to 800 in the treasury and no uh, sense of making money yet. I want to get the trader going, but I would like to get fishing going first. And don't want to spread our labor out too much, though it seems like there's so much more labor available. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see. Trading. Where to? This map. I'm trying to think of... Where they came in from when Pete Storm and Murphy were playing this one. Seems like there was a trail that cut right through the woods and it was kind of odd. But is that where they come from on this map? Hmm. Or is it the map that bu 4 you was doing right now? Does hers come off in this direction? I don't remember. Darn. But I used to put the trader kind of in the direction they're going to go. But I have no way of knowing which way they're going to go until I put in the trader. Hmm. Okay. I just got to thinking. This is... We're still in April. This is not being used because I need 100% of the red. Let me think about this. For the sunflower. So right there. Cannot during. But if I deactivate and then... Do it. Okay. So, sunflower need 100%, which really means I need 70%, because it's only going to do about 7% of growth. So, there's 30% left. I could do a hemp with that. I really could. Let's do that. Do that, and then fallow. That's an interesting idea. Let's do that, and then hemp. Nope, let's actually fallow that one, and then hemp that one. Okay. Let's go that route. And, which means I need to get these ladies back in here again. And a guy who just happened to be available at the moment because for some reason this job site is still not calling for materials. Odd. Okay. Nails are left. Looking for laborers too. Where do we want the trader on this map? Map number three. I wish I knew if they came in from over there or if they came in from over there. They come in from that gap, and that's why they would cut through the forest. Because usually you start everything right here. But out over here, we'd give a straight run from this way, or a straight run from this way or that way. 
So right here for... Actually, we've got a nice big gap going on here that I didn't know what I was going to fill in. I want just this area for the road, so we need something else to go there. Could be, well, the, the beginning of the sunflower and... and uh, uh, weaver and whatnot over here and then maybe move them later to wherever that particular specialized farm is going to be. What does the trader look like? How, how big a footprint compared to that gap? Trader, you're actually over here, aren't you? Yeah, trader doesn't really fit. Unless we were to use those archways, well, that is using the archways as the pathway. Okay. Oh, I see, because we have these front doors over here. You would fit over in this area, though. Something like that kind of disturbs the flow that I had set up there though yeah because they'd have to move the road way over to these gaps right here okay I mean really from what I was trying to do let's see if I can just touch what is that R and T yeah that's still not quite lined up is it it's hard to get a half a tap <laughs> Interesting. Not every building is going to line up with this grid. I would think that it would just be a natural position in the rotation. Okay, if I go all the way around and just randomly slam the brakes. Oh, 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 and that works. Mm. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Yeah, we need something added to this. Hold the the shift or the control and it changes the rotation pattern somewhat but anyway that rotation there would allow that road to pass right into here evenly and right on out so they come down let me zoom out a little bit down this main avenue right into the trader and through the trader and back out to whatever is beyond it kind of like that idea but this house is in the way it is kind of in the way let's continue to demolish and not put them there. Okay. So you then are lined up with that. But I want a road in between. So you're kind of like right there. I think so. Okay. So that's there. This did activate. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. Okay. Anyway, we've got a boatyard getting uh, quite uh, far along in, in, uh, in com toward completion there. So we'll do that, and then we'll get the other one going. Are we speed two or speed three? Okay. No point. Well, actually, there is a point in hiring him, because he'll start bringing over all the, the lumber that's needed for the first boat. Meanwhile, we'll get this guy built. Theoretically. And that's just materials brought over, so we don't know yet if there's going to be a, a pure foundation or a, a, a stone foundation. But you ladies are done. You ladies are done. So, goodbye. Go uh, take the summer off. Sorry, but the treasury can't afford to, to pay you to, to sit around doing nothing right now. Thatch is great. Full. Can't do much more. Already 20 thatch sitting in there. I think we need to mothball this for a while, too. Yeah. Nails, how are we doing? We've got very little. Right, we've been grabbing a lot of nails out of here, so yeah, we'll keep you going for a while. Over here, we've got 300 nails stored. We've got pretty much all of this stored, so really, I don't need two ladies working in there right now. Um, so this is the job. Trader isn't that critical, though as soon as I turn it on, they're all going to stop working here because it's so close. They're just going to concentrate on what's nearby. So I will still wait to turn on uh, Trader, the, the warehouse. Yeah. Then we'll get the Trader going. You are over there. No, I, well, we're starting to, to bring some wood over. Okay. Carpenter. I had mentioned that. Let's think about where the Carpenter goes. I like putting them near the... Uh, the source of the wood, though now we've got other sources of wood. Hmm. So it's not that critical now. Okay. How you doing? You have 20 over here? Nobody has come over here yet. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to have to uh, give a bonus to get somebody over here, and I always do the one on the left. 
just an automatic response there. But uh, still didn't help yet. Okay. Hmm. So this one being planted so late, we're going to get very little growth out of it. But that's fine. It's, uh, you know, it's not something I wanted to fully exploit anyway. Just thought we'd sneak in a little bit of hemp. Because there is a little bit of cushion between those two. Over here... Well, there's our pure foundation. So we got that. I'm trying to remember what all of these lines are. Are these all individual walls? Could be. Where are we actually, though? Are we sitting... I think we're sitting right there at that line. And this long pause. I wish I knew what these lines were. I'm assuming this is a call for new materials. I'm guessing that's what the little dots up above are. That seems to be what's happening, too. Um, over here? Nope. Oh, someone started to. Stored. Interesting. Do we have laborers here? We do. Okay. Ten are stored. You are... Um, Vladimir. You're home. You are construction... Trading post construction. But you just came from here. I guess it gave you the new job already? I guess it did. You're going to check in over here to see what you need? Interesting. What's your pathway look like? There you are. Path? Nope, you're going home first. So I guess that's your next job. Mm hmm. Meanwhile, we are getting some stuff done over here. Good. Let me get the, uh, I guess the rest of the floor laid. And then... And then it's lunchtime. <laughs> All right, over here. We've got the fishing dock going in. And we're doing right now. So floor beams going across. Okay. <laughs> got uh, got uh, Hercules over here. Bringing the, uh, the docks over. <laughs> All right. Now what? Walls. Okay. Wall framing going in. Let's go ahead and take it to three. We do have somebody over here working now. I'll go ahead and leave them. We're not going to be employed over there for that long. Food is going to happen soon, though. Um... Look at my clock, probably next episode, but where do we want a market? And really, room, for, oh, and a well. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, this little triangle here. Let's think about this. I don't think I dare fence that in right now, because that'll constrict where, where I can put things. We also have a space right here. So we want a well, we want two market buildings, and then it'd be nice to fence it in, put some benches and some trees and make that look nice. Some kind of a triangle here that's more of a of a square. Though probably a square that has an entrance here, there, make a pathway through market stall there and there. And then sitting over here. I kinda like that. Let's see if that's doable. And you're already lined up with everything else, aren't you? Because the trader is the last thing I went in, and it's lined up. Good. So you, if you were to drop in something like that, okay. Now you're, you've got a little bit of, of orange on both sides, so i got to think about that as far as getting the fence to fit. Fence, uh, the roadway is going to shoot through there, so if I were to line you up like that, That looks pretty good right there. And that's as close as I can get. So I'm not going to get a fence through there. I'm going to get a fence to, from this point back. And that will look okay. Now, what does that look like this way? If I do that, and then another one, uh, spin you around. <clears throat> see if I can land that. That's pretty good right there. And I think I can sneak a fence in right behind it. I think so. It's really tight. Move you over. Like that. Okay. So two of you in. Let's get a well in. And... Oh, that was close. Let's see. Spin you around. 
the thought was at first to put you right here. But I don't know if I like that now. Let's swing you out over here and see what that looks like. Actually, that lines up really well. And there's no point in, in tucking it in too tight. Let's do something like that. Give a pathway on both sides. Okay. You're going to go there. We'll leave you live. We'll, uh, we'll let that one build whenever it wants to naturally build. Although this is so close to being done. I want to get fishing going, or at least get uh, boats called for as soon as I can. But whenever I'm ready for it to happen, it won't happen. So maybe if I work in this angle, I'll remember to uh, to notice that thing. Because I'm thinking that a fence over here... We've got this kind of fencing in this area. But do we want the next one to contrast with it? Let's... Still nobody in there, so let's do this. Let's put a, a three rail in. And I'm thinking from... Well, from this corner, for starters. Although, there is a jog right there. So let's try from here. And then figure out where I can actually put this. So I can put it... Hmm. We'll go... Oh, that's right. It doesn't work like the other one. Okay, so that, that little gap right there. I'm hearing tapping. So you... Yeah, this does... I gotta go over here to make that look good. Unless I actually do... There goes my boatyard. All right. If I do something like that... I don't know. Let's pause and think about that. Well, I want to get this going. You guys. Order three boats. And it'll be a while before we actually need to hire somebody. All right. Turn you back on. You are still employed, right? No. Hmm. I hate to put a house out here just to make this work. Because this is not going to be used very often. Eventually, we're going to housing out here. But until that eventually happens, where are they going to work? You know, if I were to put a house over here, that's a long way from all the other jobs. Except for fishing. Yeah, housing over here might not be a bad idea. Okay, well... Until then, I'm going to have to blow the budget a little bit to get somebody in there. Let's go back to one speed for the moment just to see. Yeah, that's, that's a snail space. We'll go to two speed. Is that working? Yeah. And there's somebody jumped in. Okay. Um, do I put two workers in? If I did two workers at 110%, is there twice the chance that someone's going to hang around? Be nice to get those built, boats built soon. We're into June. Be nice to get a little bit of fish into. Uh, it's not happening, is it? All right, we'll do that. And yeah, they're, they're gonna jump right in there, aren't they? Okay, we'll we'll pay it. Okay, um, you swing around. That's never the right key, but I still want to do it every time anyway. How does he line up? Do we do an arc in here? Something like... How about we line up with the... How do I do that? Right like that. There we go. So, alt. Looks pretty good. Though it looks like it needs just a... a actually, that does look pretty good. About as close as I'm going to guess that I'm going to get. And we'll do that. So... How so? If I were to do that there and then curve the other two away from it, it might look pretty good. How close? Let's start you there. And we can tuck him into the trees a little bit. That'll that'll give us some forced... Uh, uh, oh, there's a boat already heading in. Okay, some forced uh, trees taken out of here without actually assigning them to the, uh, to the forester. And is that enough of a gap? I think so. So you're going to go there, and we're going to hire our first fisherman. And here... Yeah, we'll leave that alone. Next house. And how far can we rotate you away? That's probably about as far as I dare go. And then, what do I want here? Pull forward until we're parallel to the front fence. That looks pretty good right there. Next house... Pass through here, we get a sense of 
Like, how do you determine? If I were to do something like that, I'm looking at the back fence right there where I've stretched it. I kind of want to get this angle, but the mirror image of it. So if I were to rotate uh, R to match something like that. Touch more. Yeah, that seems like too much. Tap you back. And then parallels right about there. What was that? All right, we're going to go with that angle. And then we're going to move over a little bit and pull you down parallel to the front, which is something like that. Let's go with that and see what that looks like here. No, not enough. Okay, so I'm going to pause. I don't know what that was. It just finished and might be important. Uh, traitor? No, not the traitor. So what finished over there? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, tap you a little bit more. So that's R. I think that's it. Okay, now if I can pull away, uh, demolish you, and then bring you in, we should match that angle. Okay, so right there, I'm going to drag you forward to right about there's parallel. Do that and grab another house. That looks like a pretty even arc in the back there. All right, I like that. Now, what finished? What were we doing besides the trader? The well. That's what it was. Okay, good. And still no food coming in. Right? Do we have... We have a boat and we can't get anybody to work here. Okay. The first house in line was this one. You are going to run. You're going to pause. You're going to pause. Yeah. Let's try that again. There we go. Pause. Trader is important. All right. So just the two building projects. All right. We're going to have to... Uh, I guess up that, up that a notch. That's what it's going to take. They don't want to walk that far from home. Darn. And I'm going to fire or take away one position there. I'm not going to have... Uh, that many people working at uh, at uh, that much over the price. One person is still doing fine over here. Uh, we're into July. Probably in this episode right about the time the harvest begins. All right, so we've got our three houses over here. One's going to be built soon. Uh, carpenter was talked about. Trader's going to come in, which means cow shed. So cow shed and carpenter are both going to be needed. Okay. What happens in this area? I think about that. I do want... We started to do the fencing over here. That's right. I do want... Let me lay this in here just so you can see it. Something... You know, that gives the sense of a road in here. Meaning, front of whatever buildings are going in here are going to run along this pathway. There will, of course, be gaps in between in between the buildings so they can still move around and do what they need to but you know that's kind of what I want to accomplish with the buildings that are going to go here so we do have kind of a, a, you know, a corner right here something's going to go there 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 and another corner right here I just don't know what buildings would be best right there but don't really have the manpower to be doing too many more projects anyway but think about that I guess we could in other words, we could put cattle in here. Give us a, a nice pasture right here for for cattle and then a, 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 a cattle yard or a, a cattle shed right here and some, some hay and whatnot. Do these people really want to live in front of them, though? Unless the cattle were right in here and the cow shed was over there. Hmm... So, yeah, I'd be thinking about what, what would look good long-term in this rectangle here, minus the roadway right there. Be thinking about that. Otherwise, we're halfway through July. We've got two boats over here. We could use another worker, another fisherman. Though I don't get this sell, we've done some. Okay, we have something to sell now. Okay, then let's move in here and drop in flour and potato and milk and fish 
That should be all that we're going to get out of there and put in a worker. You will be female and laborers will be men. They'll bring a whole cartload at a time. Uh, there. All right, that's the setup for that one. So same thing over here. Get rid of men. Get rid of women. Okay. And this one will eventually be beef. Sunflower, clothes, and shoes. So eventually, I want to try the dried fish this time. I never got into it last time. So I want to see uh, how that works. I'm thinking we can sell it for more than we would buy it for, but I haven't been able to really verify that. Otherwise, that's that working. Man, I did not hire anybody. Good. Don't need to yet. There's not enough fish right now. Actually, okay, there's one market area. We need another market area over here. Um... Let's do that. That'll probably end the episode. Ooh, we've got birds. Good. Um, facing there and facing here. How best in here? Don't know. Do know that I like to get this gone. So when that gets built, we'll put the iron in there. That's the well. Not going to have any housing down here. We will have housing over here and over here, but that's a long walk from both. We may do a market here and a market over there. Hmm. Though we wouldn't need the the more specialty goods in both places if we just got the basic goods in both places. Okay. The well is stuck. We can't get rid of that. So, unless patch 5 gives us the ability to. So that's probably a good place to... That's real estate that's, that's locked in and can't move it. So may as well put it right over there. So market stall, kind of right in this area, like so. Although there is a lot of room here. There is. Okay. Then, how about something like... No, that's right at their, their entrance. That doesn't work either. All right, we'll just grab this corner for now. Uh, this way. And we'll figure it out later what's going to go. These things uh, will destruct real easy, no problem. That looks pretty good right there. And that forms another roadway that moves down through there. You, let's put in the basics of flour and potato and milk and fish. Milk is probably the one that could stagger with the dried fish. Milk, we don't find it very often, so we could save it. Granary would work well in here, wouldn't it? Another granary could go there. And for that matter, another granary over here. The, to supply these guys. That could work. Okay, let's set your requirements. No men, no women, and hire one. And I think that's a wrap. We've got the boats ordered. How close are you? You're delivered. Okay. You knew you are done. And we're going to take you down so we don't make that mistake again. Because by then we'll have people living here. And, boy, it'd be nice to be able to deal with not having to increase the wages here, but I see I'm not going to have much of a choice. Um, there's only one other construction project running, so I know we've got people. We just don't have the willpower to fill it. All right, that'll, that'll increase the willpower. All right, so, oh, the harvest has begun. Yeah, so let's pause it right here. So, so Noble Rambler, thanks guys for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.